Dive watches are everywhere in men's fashion, and they have been for decades. They can be dressed up, dressed down, and some people even use them for diving. Hey guys, Andrew from Primer Magazine here. Today, I'm gonna dive deep into the history of these fascinating watches, go over some key features that you should look for in a dive watch, and reveal our picks for the best affordable dive watches most of them under $250. I wanna give a huge shout out to Primer's resident watch fanatic, Chris Scott, who has been a diver for over 20 years and has owned over two dozen dive watches. In the early 20th century, watchmakers were looking for ways to make their watches more waterproof. Rolex went as far as displaying the Oyster models in fish bowls. In World War II, Rolex and Panerai made watches for frogmen and combat swimmers who needed accurate timepieces. But the invention of the Aqualung in 1942 by Jacques Cousteau and Emile Gagnon changed everything. Suddenly, the new sport of scuba diving was popular. And more divers drove demand for more dive watches. But then in 1962, James Bond wore a Rolex Submariner in Dr. No. And the rest is history. Dive watches have been known to withstand depths of up to 40,000 feet. Now that's definitely enough to survive your next paddleboarding excursion, but what features should you look for in a good dive watch? Now it's worth pointing out that among watch nerds, there is a debate between what is a dive watch and what is a watch with dive watch styling. So how can you tell the difference? A good place to start is the definition set by the International Standards Organization, quote, a dive watch is designed to withstand diving in water as depths of at least 100 meters and possess a system to control the time. International Standards Organization listing 6425. Seems pretty straightforward, right? Here's the thing. Not every watch that presents itself as a dive watch has been certified by the ISO. If you're set on owning a certified dive watch, look for the word divers preceding the depth rating. This means it's been ISO certified. But just because a company hasn't submitted a watch for certification doesn't mean you can't use it for diving. Our watch expert Chris recommends paying attention to five key features. First, you want water resistance to at least 100 meters or 300 feet. On a regular consumer watch, the crown, the little dial you turn, and the case back, the back of the watch, both pop out of place. Easy and convenient, but bad for water resistance. On a dive watch, both the crown and the case back thread into place like on a jelly jar and they both contain a rubber gasket to prevent water penetration. For divers, it's crucial to be able to tell how long you've been underwater. For the rest of us, it's still kind of a cool feature. Loom is painted on the hands and dial markers of the watch to soak up ambient light, which makes it easy to see in low light conditions. Now there's a few different options for dive watch movements. A mechanical watch movement is incredibly cool with precise tiny little gears, but it also makes them incredibly expensive. Solar or quartz movements help keep the cost down and still keep great time. You can spend anywhere from 50 bucks to tens of thousands of dollars on a dive watch. But keeping with the primer ethos, I wanted to highlight our top picks for the best dive watches under $250 that combine both quality and style. When it comes to best bang for your buck, there are a few that can compete with the Casio MDV-106. This quartz-powered diver comes in at a hefty 45 millimeters, but its thin size lets it sit comfortably on even smaller wrists. It's rated to 200 meters and built to take a beating. Best of all, it's got the best loom at this price point. As dive watches have become less diver tools and more fashion accessories, a lot of brands have started making dive watch lookalikes. Gucci even makes a divey watch. Most fashion watches don't offer much in terms of water resistance, but the Nautica Portofino is a rare exception. It's a chunky Timex produced quartz dive watch with a very easy to turn bezel and a screw down back and crown. Chris reports he'd be fine to dive with this watch despite its meager 100 meter depth rating. But let's talk about the drawbacks. The 22 meter lugs can't be removed, which means you have to use a NATO style slip through strap. Also, the loom is garbage. For a quartz watch, the Nautica Portofino is priced a little high, but if you can find one on sale, it's a solid buy. Next up is the dive watch for actual diving. Our expert Chris has long advocated that the Seiko SKX007 is the best actual diving watch under $250. It's rugged to the point of bulletproof, has an excellent bezel and loom, and features a solar movement that only needs to be serviced every eight years. 
Be aware that it runs a little big, but its thin case prevents it from being chunky. Ever since James Bond wore a Rolex Submariner with a tuxedo and gold finger, dive watches have been a part of men's fashion. But some dive watches dress up better than others. One of the most versatile is the Orient Ray. Recently updated and dubbed the Orient Ray 2, this particular watch looks far more expensive than it actually is. And it's available in a few different color combinations. For the price, it's a solid all-around dive watch to use as an accent piece. I hope you didn't think we were done with the Bond trivia, because up next is the Omega Speedmaster Professional, aka the Golden Eye Watch. This watch actually represents something really interesting in luxury dive watch development. To survive the flood of cheap quartz watches in the 1970s and 80s, a lot of Swiss watchmakers went upmarket with their products, and dive watches were no exception. What makes this watch really interesting, though, is that it's still an entry-level luxury watch. But what keeps it affordable is that it still has a quartz movement. But quartz doesn't mean lack of quality. The 1538 movement is one of Omega's best. It has pro-level features like a quick-set hour hand and helium release valve for commercial divers. The thinness of this watch makes it hard to believe it can survive nearly a thousand feet of pressure. And it's a great wearing watch. Be aware, however, does not come with a built-in laser. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked our dive watch guide, please like and subscribe. It really does help us bring you expert vetted style content just like this. I'll see you next time.